Yeah, I don't know if I'm comfortable modeling lingerie in a video. Because they're in the garden, I thought it was a gardener snake, not a garter snake. What does that have to do with a garter belt? Weird. It is going to pop and then it's going to fall apart and it's going to be horrible. Today, we're getting sexy and we're going to make a garter belt. I love making lingerie. It's so fun. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, which means I want to be a little extra sexy, but I don't want to spend $150 on a designer garter belt. I also just started teaching a lingerie class. I feel like a lot of people are intimidated to start creating lingerie, but in reality, it is super easy to create. And let's face it, the fabric pieces are all like this big. And I really want to show you guys that it's really not that hard to create. So I designed an easy beginner pattern for a garter belt, which you can download at SoAnastasia.com. And we are going to cut it out and sew it together today. And I hope this is going to be a great intro for some of you to designing and creating your own lingerie. I also already have some other lingerie videos out there, which you can check out. This high-waisted panty is on the channel and this bralette is also on the channel as well. Links for those will be down below in the description. All right, enough talkie talk. Let's get into this garter belt. One of the things I geek out over about lingerie are all the fun components. You can buy all these cute bows and slides and elastics. So let's go over what you need to make your garter belt. You're gonna need some Pico elastic. You're gonna need some super cute little bows for the ends. You're gonna need some strapping elastic. You're gonna need some hook and eyes. You're gonna need your garter clips. You're gonna need some slides. And I got the cutest ones and hearts. And then you're also gonna need some slides for your elastic. For me, that's one of the fun things about making lingerie is finding all those cute little components that match to create your lingerie piece. And they're really cheap too. Some of them are like 20 cents, so it's not too expensive. And I love finding beautiful fabrics. And the nice thing about lingerie is it really doesn't take that much fabric. Speaking of fabric, you're going to need some fabric for your garter belt. I like to use fabric that is not super stretchy, so that way it's gonna hold nice and tight to the body. And you're also gonna need your pattern, which you can print out on your home printer. It's time to start working. So grab your rotary cutter and let's cut it out. You ready to do this, IRS? This pattern piece is cut one on fold. Super easy. Now that our garter belt's all cut out, it's time to grab your Pico elastic and we're going to attach it around the edge of the garter belt, but making sure we leave the ends open for our hook and eye. And I almost forgot, make sure you are not attaching this with a straight stitch. So if you don't have a serger, no worries at all. Just make sure you're using the zigzag stitch because if you sew this with a straight stitch, it is going to pop and then it's gonna fall apart and it's going to be horrible. To sew the Pico elastic on, we're going to place right sides together and we're gonna serge it on. When we're serging it, we wanna give it a little pull. You don't wanna give it a max pull. You don't wanna stretch this up into like a little rubber band, but you need to give it a little pull so that way later it has a little give for you. And when I say that, I mean stretch it out just like that. And it's always a good idea. Start your elastic off the edge just a little bit so that way you're making sure it catches. So you're gonna serge that on all the way down the top of the garter belt. And then we're gonna move on to the bottom swoops in the garter belt here. So you're just gonna start, cut a small piece. And for the bottom, I'm not gonna stretch this. I'm just gonna serge it on flat. We're gonna serge and then we're just gonna cut at the end and then start again. And then I'm gonna move over to the next piece, serge it on, serge it on, serge it on, serge it on. And then we're gonna move over to the regular sewing machine. We're gonna put on our broken zigzag stitch and I'm going to lengthen it as long as it'll go. And then we're going to flip this under and we are going to zigzag it on. And you wanna pull it and make sure it's nice and flat when you're zigzagging this on. And you're gonna do that across the top of the garter belt. And you're also gonna go and do that to all of the scoops in the bottom of the garter belt. It looks so cute. Next, we're gonna put on our bra hook and eye to the back of the garter belt, so that way we can get it on and off. So for the side with the hooks, we're going to open it up, it opens up, and we are going to fit our garter belt in it. If it ends up a little bigger with the elastic, I think it totally looks okay, even if there's a little pleat in it, or you can go back and make your elastic or the garter belt smaller there, depending on how big your hook and eye is. And then you're just going to do a nice, neat little stitch. That's it, it's gonna hold right in there. So cool, right? And then we're gonna go over to the hook. The hook is a little bit more complicated. We're gonna take the hook, we're gonna place it right sides together. We are going to sew it down to the garter belt. We're gonna flip it back. 
and then we're gonna flip it to the inside. Now what we're gonna do is get as close as you can without hitting the metal in the little hook, and we're just gonna sew this down. Now, you might wanna use a zipper foot or move your needle position over for this. The hook and eye is finished, so now let's build some garter straps. See, this isn't so bad, is it? We are making lingerie. So next, we need to build the little straps. Sewing hack, you can totally buy these pre-made, but I wanna be nice and thorough with you guys, so I'm gonna show you how to create them. We've got a little slide, and then we've got the little garter clip, and then we've got a piece of elastic that's like 12 to 14 inches long, Depending on how tall you are, you can change up the length of that elastic. First thing we're gonna do is put the elastic on the slide. We're gonna go from the bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom. You'll notice I got this cute heart slide. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit and now I'm gonna take my garter clip and from the top to the bottom, we're gonna put it on there. So you can kind of envision how it's looking. But now this is loose in back. So what you need to do is flip it over and I like to make some slack in the loop up here. And now we're gonna take the piece of elastic and stick it back through the slide. Now this can be tricky because it is going to be kind of thick. So I like to pull it through halfway. And now what I'm gonna do is take this piece and pull it and it's gonna automatically pull it through the other part of the slide. So we're gonna take it and pull it and look at that. It just pops right out. Awesome. Now when we sew this together, we need to sew this loose piece to the piece of elastic that is being attached to the garter clip. Make sure you're not sewing it to the long piece of elastic at the top. Make sure you go over it a couple times so that way it's nice and secure. So I'm gonna use the zigzag stitch and I'm gonna go back and forth a few times. And then we're going to sew the top of the elastic to the very edge of the garter belt where the little points are. So you are going to sew on your garter straps that you just created at the tips of these points right here. So we're just gonna place it under the tip and then you're gonna zigzag it on nice and secure. We are almost done. I've got my fabric glue and my bows. So let's put them on the garter belt. This is my favorite fabric glue for putting on little bows and decorations. It even lasts through all the washes. Oh, it's so cute. Final touch is perfect. So let's go try it on so I can show you how it fits. I just finished building out the dressing room at the studio and it's so cute. So I wanna show you that too. Check it out. Here's the dressing room in the studio. So we've got a super cute pink ruffle up here that you know I made it. We got fun yellow curtains. I just love the watercolor carpet in here. We have a super fun pink chair. And then we also have these super fun gold elephant hooks for hanging up your clothes. Okay, time to try this on. Yeah, I don't know if I'm comfortable modeling lingerie in a video. Okay, sorry guys, I decided I am still a little too shy to model lingerie on YouTube. But check it out, here it is, it is so cute. You can see all of our beautiful elastic edges, we've got our cute little bows, we've got our heart little slides, which I just love. And then we got our garter clips down here for our thigh highs. And if we turn it around, you can see the nice shape it makes for the back of it with our garter straps in the back, same thing. And I just love the shape that this is creating around the body. It's very flattering to wear, and this should be all the way up at your natural waist, hugging you nice and tight to keep up your thigh highs. And then these are adjustable, so you can bring them up a little bit, or you can make them longer as well. Wasn't that easy and so fun? Hopefully this has inspired you to start sewing and creating your own lingerie as well. Sometimes sewing things can feel really intimidating and slightly out of your comfort zone. And hopefully I am here to empower you to try these projects because I know that you can create them and sew them yourself. If you have any questions or comments about creating the garter belt, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And I would love to know if you are gonna try sewing some lingerie pieces, um, let me know, leave it down below. And if you'd like to see any specific lingerie pieces, 
let me know as well. I'd love to make a pattern for it and do a sew along for that. And don't forget to subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit the notification bell so that way you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today and following along. And don't forget, I also have Twitter and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and all the social media websites. So stay connected and inspired with me. And don't forget, I teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois. So check those out at Sewing Anastasia. And if you're not in Chicago, totally okay. I offer private virtual lessons as well. So if you have a question or need help with your project at home, you know what? I can help you with it. So sign up at SewingAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.